It is time to join the webinar. You must have the Zoom app installed on your device to join the webinar. If you aren't sure that you have Zoom installed, you can watch a video from our website, ntcumc.org, by choosing About, Annual Conference Journals, Resources, and the video How to Test Your Zoom Webinar link. The video will walk you through how to check that you have the Zoom app installed, that you have the most recent updates, and that your webinar link works. Choose click here to join from your confirmation email. The webinar will be open 30 minutes prior to the start time to give you plenty of time to join. When Zoom launches, click open Zoom meetings. If you are not signed into Zoom, it will prompt you to sign in first. Zoom will then connect you to the webinar. If you move your cursor to the bottom of the screen, you will notice three icons, chat, raise hand, and Q&A. These options will go away when you move your cursor further up the screen, but will reappear when you move your cursor to the bottom of the screen again. Use the chat function to ask technical questions like, I can see the conference, but I can't hear. Your chat will only be visible to those answering the questions. The chat and the email, ac2020 at ntcumc.org, will be closely monitored and someone will get back to you as soon as possible. If you have a non-technical question, please use the Q&A function, which will be described next. If you have a question regarding an item of the conference, please click Q&A. Use Q&A as you would use the microphone if this was an in-person conference. Identify yourself by providing your district and your church, and then type your question. Q&A will be closely monitored and any questions that need to be addressed by the bishop will be passed along for him to answer. Other questions may be answered directly by our panelists by typing a response. The raised hand feature will be used for some voting functions. If the vote will be using the raised hand, you will be provided with clear instructions on how to vote in that fashion. When you click raise hand, you will notice that the hand icon changes color and the words lower hand are displayed. If you decide that you do not want your hand raised, click the hand again and it will lower your hand. At the end of the vote, all hands will be lowered automatically. The Zoom polling feature will be used for most of the voting. When a poll is introduced, it will be displayed on your screen. Click the small circle to the left of your choice and click Submit to cast your vote. The results of the vote will be displayed on your screen after the vote closes. We hope these short videos have been helpful and we hope you enjoy the webinar.